This Real is more talk. than it will ever be mine. Lord only knows how many crimes that you've influenced throughout your whole career. Cause I've seen you kill people plenty of times. Real what do talk you think though, is man. Like they try to blame music all the time, but look at all the movies, the horror, the gore movies they, you know what I'm saying, that they make. Yeah, you know I mean, and like, shout out to all the people in your valley, man. I'm sorry about that shit, man. Like, see, like my life been really changing on me. I know some niggas out here hating on me. Hey, I see the bitches how they changing on me. I know some niggas out here snaking on me. Hey, see, like my all right, all right, all right. So look, man, it's time to get to another one. What up, Samson, man? It's been a long time since you done another video, bro. Cause the last video you said I'm back. And you ain't come back for a long time. So I don't know if you're back or you're not. But anyways, what's up, my boy? <laughs> what's going down, people? Look, we finna get into the Samson joint. What about us? A lot of people been telling me, hey, man, you need to get on that Samson. I'm like, man, I'm going to get to it. I've been slacking. But before I get to not slacking, y'all like, uh, comment, subscribe, man. Y'all comment down below. And let me, if you haven't checked out the last reaction I did, man, check out my boy Cloud9, man. That's my little pimp pound to play. He out here doing music. He wanted me to check it out. So I checked it out for him. Y'all check it out, too, please. And then also, too, man. The hell else I was gonna say? I forgot what the hell I was gonna say, man. I really did forget. My mind went blank, people. But look, let's go ahead and get to another Samson, man. What about us? What about us, people? Let's find out what he got to say about us. Come on, man. Wake up, phone. Don't do this, phone. Let's get it. If you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. That's the damn truth. Ah. Huh. Uh, Those are words that I stand by, homie. It doesn't uh, mean I'm gangster, it doesn't mean I'm country. It means that my life is in my hands only. Oh, hey man, don't tread on him. Doesn't mean he gangster, don't mean none of that, man. It just means don't play with us. You know what I'm talking about? Do not play with us. Hey, a lot of people out here be telling you, man, stop playing with people, man, for real. Really do stop playing with people, man. Like, don't make no sense. People just be playing games all the time, and that can get you hurt, that can get you shot, get you killed. You know what I'm talking about? Don't tread on them. He ain't playing. That I stand by, homie. It doesn't mean I'm gangster. It doesn't mean I'm country. It means that my life is in my hands only. Real talk. I don't have money for security. I don't have armed guards that I keep snug around me. You don't think I deserve protection like you do, and that means you don't give a fuck about Real me. Real talk. Hated community. That's what you live in. Hatred and mutiny. That's what we live in. So come uh. down here and hang with us for a minute. See if you leave with the same fucking opinion. Real talk. Who's gonna help me out if I get robbed? What if somebody were to beat up my mother? Who's gonna be there to save our lives? Hold on, man. You boy, hey, he, they, they don't pissed you off. The government. Don't that's no, I know that's what you're talking about, the government. You know what I'm saying? What about us? You know what I'm saying? I know it's the government. But real talk, a lot of people they be talking that shit on the, on the news and shit. They live in gated communities, bro. You know what I mean? They don't live out here in the real world like we live in. Yeah, they live in the real world, but not the real world that we live in, like on the streets. You know what I'm saying? They don't live the same life. So it's, I hate when people get on there and they try to downplay people's life or just try to act like they know what's going on when they really don't have no clue what the fuck's going on in people's world man you know what i'm saying like they just worried about themselves and worried about them only and that ain't cool man samson they gonna piss you off me out if i get robbed what if somebody were to beat up my mother Bet who's not. gonna be there to save our lives you no nah, me motherfucker ah. i'm the only one that's got my back it's dog eat dogs these are not no cats Real talk. in michigan they can't even respond to the calls because the cars ain't got no gas great police Damn. don't have any fuel you don't know if they'll arrive when you call them the babies are starving my girlfriend can't find a tampon and yet somehow you and i are the problem man real talk bro but i ain't hear that part but they ain't even had no gas what the fuck they run out of gas cuz hey man they need to step that game up, man. This world, oh man, we don't need them, bro. Like I keep telling people, we do not need none of them at all. We don't need politicians, bro. We don't need none of that shit. A lot of people probably tell me we do, but we don't. They ain't doing shit for us, man. All they doing is taking our money and making us stay complacent in one spot. And we ain't supposed to be complacent. We supposed to be able to move around freely. What? Fuck this country supposed to be built on free. Man, we ain't free. We all slaves in this damn thing, man. I've never brought a gun without having my background scanned and approved. The only loophole I've seen on a gun is the one that you put a fucking lanyard through. Uh. It's not true that you can go to the store and just swipe your card and get a Glock and run. It's Real funny. Talk. The people that say that shit have literally never even shot one. Real talk, though. Hey, Matthew McConaughey. Shut the fuck up Just cause you murder people on screen Doesn't mean you know shit about guns You dumb fuck What? You worried about us? What about all of those violent movies that you played? How about Real you Real talk though You know what I'm saying? I ain't know Matthew McConaughey I didn't even stop my game I ain't even know Matthew McConaughey was talking shit Oh you was talking shit about guns And shit about the NRA If I'm not mistaken But man real talk all that shit y'all doing on movies ain't real, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not real. We out here really having to deal with what's really going on in the world. Most of these people is these stars, man. And most people talking about these guns, bro, don't make no sense. And it's true, man. You you have to go through a bunch of shit to get a gun. I've had to run FBI back to your own checks all the time on me. You know what I'm saying? When I went and got my guns and shit. 
And I had one. I ain't even had no felons. Didn't even get approved the second time. I don't understand because I had a pistol in my name. Couldn't even get it approved for my fucking AR or my goddamn shotgun. It was stupid. But it don't make no sense. People just be opening their mouth for no reason. Just shut the fuck up like he said. Yo, fuck what? You worried about us? What about all of those violent movies that you played? Real talk. How about you go talk to Alec Baldwin before you start telling me what to do, okay? <laughs> I was talk. horrified by it. That's your hometown. You were born right by it. It probably cuts deep and I hope that it does because you work in an industry that glorifies violence. Real it's more talk. your fault than it will ever be mine. Lord only knows how many crimes that you've influenced throughout your whole career because I've seen you kill people plenty of Time. Real what do you talk think though, is man. Like they try to blame music all the time, but look at all the movies, the horror, the gore movies. They, you know, what I'm saying that they make. Yeah, you know I mean, and like, shout out to all the people in your valley, man. I'm sorry about that shit, man. Like I didn't even speak upon it, but I am very genuinely, genuinely sorry, man. It doesn't make no sense how somebody can just go in there and just shoot up all kids like that, bro. Like makes no sense it's my it makes me scared for my kids to be at school you know what I'm saying? it makes me scared from just even being in the world anymore man that shit sucks bro I, I just pray to god that the world just be a better god darn place man that you've influenced throughout your whole career because i've seen you kill people plenty of times yeah, what do you though. think is going to cause a shooting a youtube video of a gun review or a hollywood murder scene that seems so realistic real it looks like it's from the news so next time that you want to point your finger with a stupid opinion and chime in with it remember it ain't me that they're trying to be like dog it's you that they're trying to mimic real talk man they be trying to mimic the shit out these people in the goddamn movie it ain't us man it's y'all it's way more Gore and I'm trying to figure out the words I'm trying to say. It's way worse than what you see on movies, man. Like then, uh, watch like you said a, a gun review. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can learn about guns, learn how to use them and shit. But look at the, how they portray violence and shit on goddamn movies. That makes no sense, man. I feel way more safe in a place where the people are legally armed. If something Real happens like a too. mass shooting, I have a way less chance of being lethally harmed. A criminal uh. is gonna think twice if he knows everybody is a piece underneath their clothes. And Mayor Lightfoot will probably tell you different, but. <laughs> Have you seen Chicago? Real and talk no, though. Before you ask, I don't want to be like Canada either. And I don't want to be like Australia. I'm sick of everybody using them as a humanity meter. There's Real a reason talk. that they can do whatever they want to their citizens. Like fucking throw them in camps. And then Damn, what he said? Like what? Hold on. The humanity meter. There's a reason that they can do whatever they want to their citizens. Like fucking throw them. Howard Springs disturbed police arrest. Quarantine escape. Australian police arrested three people. Broke out of a COVID quarantine compound in the middle of the night. What the hell? Oh, hell no. Nah. We ain't trying to be like them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to be nothing like none of these people going overseas going crazy. We ain't trying to do none of that shit. Everybody using them as a humanity meter. There's a reason that they can do whatever they want to their citizens, like fucking throw them in camps. And there's a reason that, that our government crazy. doesn't even try that shit because they know that they can't. Yeah, nah, no, they not finna give us. Second, that if we didn't have our second amendment, the government wouldn't overstep its boundaries and make us do shit even when we're against it. Right, yeah, 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 they will. I don't give a damn where you stand or how or what you vote. That's dandy and fine if you trust Uncle Sam, but I, for one, Fucking don't. Uh, nah. I don't trust them motherfuckers either. I really don't. I don't trust the government either, man. Stop playing. And why would they I? Would do what that have shit they too. done? Give me a reason for me to believe them. They want to trade me a little security in exchange for a big ass piece of my freedom. Real they don't want to take away guns because they care about you and they want to keep you safe at night. They want to take away guns because it's easy to control people if they don't have any way to fight. Hey, Real buddy, talk, what man. What's your little AR 15 going to do when the government comes to take it? Well, Ukraine's going to be handing out rifles to all of the citizens when the Russians invaded. So yeah, real talk, though. You know what I'm saying? That was, I guess. I don't know how to say if that was good or bad that the Ukrainians was like, fuck it, we need some help, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Code 10. Code 10, we need some help. We got some guns. Y'all need them. Y'all go out there and fight with us. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not trying to make it a funny thing. I'm just being real with it, though. You know what I'm talking about? Everything comes to take it. Well, Ukraine started handing out rifles to all of the citizens when the Russians invaded. So uh -huh. what about that? I thought it wouldn't help. I guarantee that it'd be better than nothing. I hope it never does. But if the day comes, I bet that you're going to wish that you had something. Real this talk. is the only country on earth where the people have real strength. And nowadays, with all the shit going on, it's the only thing that makes me feel safe. Real if talk. there's anything that I've learned in the past couple years looking back at the pandemic, all of this hey man, he is speaking his goddamn truth on this one, bro. Like for real, man. If, if the government knew that we didn't, if they took all our guns, they ain't gonna be able to do that shit. But if they never gave us guns, we'd be just like every other country out here in the world, bro. But like you said, it's the only country that makes you feel safe because we actually do get to have our guns. You know what I'm saying? I love having my AR. I love having my guns, bro. I love that shit. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't see life without having them. You know what I'm talking about? And it, it's a better place with me having a gun. You know what I'm saying? 
This shit's crazy. Though. Feel safe if there's anything that I've learned in the past couple years looking back at the pandemic. All of the shit that we have is fragile and it can snap at any second. Real talk. Fuck all of the politicians. I don't Real trust talk. anything they say. Take the word gun out of gun control and that's all that it is at the end of the day. Uh, I don't that's give all a fuck it is. How crazy you think that I look or I sound when I say this shit, but our second amendment's the only thing that stands between us and a dictatorship. Second Amendment, man, the right to bear arms, man. Hey, I love it. I love it. I love it. But, man, real talk, fuck all the politicians. Like I said earlier, them politicians ain't about shit, bro. They not about helping us, man. They really not trying to help shit. All they trying to do is help their pockets, man. That's all it is, gun control. That's all they trying to do, man, is just trying to control everything we do. For what, man? For money, for power, for what? We just want to live, man. That's all we want to do is just live, man. We don't even get a chance to live. What's the point of having life? Oh shit, what's going on? And as for the kids, I'm not a security expert, so I won't act like one. But I think that if we can send over fifty billion dollars to Ukraine, what? we could surely spend that much or more or less here in our own country Real to fortify our schools talk. to make them Real talk, man. We sending money in everybody else's backyard, putting money in everybody else's pockets and spending it right here in our own goddamn country. More secure so that every kid can get an education safe and sound. Real talk. Place several trained armed guards in every school across America. You know, real men. Real Don't man. Don't stand by for 45 minutes in the hallway while yeah, a shooting unfolds up, in front of their own eyes. I can't believe that. And pay them well, too. There's veterans that need the work. Why not protect Real our kids the same way that we protect you? Real talk. Why? Why do we spend so much money on every other thing to what the fuck we really need to spend it on, man? Because the government doesn't want us to be safe. They don't want our kids to be safe in school. They don't want our kids to be alive. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck them cops stood out there for a whole 45 minutes, 54 minutes, however long it was, just standing out there when nobody do nothing. I ain't never seen no shit like that. Let, let, it, let it be in a black person, man, sitting there shooting and something. Boy, they would have been in there quick like that and killed that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand it, bro. And I ain't trying to make it a race thing. I just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I really don't get it. Politicians are protected by guns. They are. Celebrities are, are protected, protected by, by guns. guns. Every important person that protected walks this by earth a goddamn is protected gun. by a gun. Yep. But our kids? They're not protected at all. They're important. But not important enough. Not as much as you. See? <laughs> That's fucking crazy, bro. That is fucking crazy, man. Shout out to Samson, man, for bringing light to all the situation, man. A lot of people out here bringing light to the situation, but shout out to goddamn Samson, man. But for real, when we gonna start worrying about our kids, take care of our kids, government? Because y'all ain't doing shit to help our kids, man. You know, so you give us a shitty ass, goddamn bullshit ass 12 year brainwash camp and we can't even be safe trying to learn that bullshit you know what i'm saying our kids can't even be safe learning the lies of america you know what i mean that shit doesn't make no sense but we can send 50 billion 60 billion you get a bill we got a billion dollars on the goddamn lotto for what when you got all these goddamn veterans sitting here just perishing bro just wasting life you know what i'm saying it's not their fault that they're wasting life it's just they don't have no help man you don't make no sense bro how you gonna sit there and let somebody go fight for your country but you don't take care of them in the country that's dumb you you allow them to go kill them, get killed, but you don't allow them to live. <laughs> My God, bro, man, this shit doesn't make no sense, bro. And it's only gonna get worse. It's not gonna get any better. I don't see it getting any better. I really don't. I don't know. I don't even know what to think anymore with this way that the world is going, man. But shit, Samson, man, keep doing you, bro. Keep being true to what you're doing, man. Real talk, man. And I love you, my boy. Keep doing your music. Shout out.